Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to disable Microsoft Defender in Windows 11. The Microsoft Defender antivirus, previously known as Windows Defender, is a free tool integrated into Windows 11 to protect your computer from viruses and other malware. In addition to combating viruses and similar programs, Microsoft Defender also offers you to secure your account, improve your safety online, monitor your computer's performance and health, use parental control options and a firewall for extra protection, and ensure network safety. If you are about to start using some third-party antivirus software, you may want to disable the built-in system protection and install the latest antivirus hit. And this is when some difficulties may appear. In today's video, I'll show you several methods to disable Microsoft Defender from easy setup to editing the registry. Method 1. Disable Microsoft Defender with group policy settings. For starters, disable the system protection and then run the group policy editor. Click on Start. Settings Privacy and Security Windows Security Virus and Threat Protection Manage Settings and Disable Temporal Protection here. Find Edit Group Policy in the search and click on it to run Group Policy Editor. In the Programs window, go to the Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, Microsoft Defender Antivirus. Look to the right to find the setting Turn off Microsoft Defender Antivirus, right-click on it and select Edit. In the window that opens, check the option Enabled, then click Apply and OK. After that, modify the setting Allow Anti-Malware Service to remain running always. Check the option Disabled, click Apply and OK. After that, open the folder Real-Time Protection and open the setting Turn off Real-Time Protection. Check the option Enabled. Click Apply. OK. Now that the group policy is configured, you need to set up Task Scheduler to prevent certain services from running and to avoid errors after the Windows 11 antivirus has been disabled. Use the Search feature to find Task Scheduler and open it. Jump to Task Scheduler Library, Microsoft, Windows, Windows Defender. One after another, disable these four tasks. Windows Defender Cache Maintenance, Windows Defender Cleanup, Windows Defender Scheduled Scan, and Windows Defender Verification. Right-click on each one and select Disable. After that, update the computer and user policies. To do it, open the command prompt as administrator and run this command. After you do it, the Defender will no longer start together with Windows. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Another way to disable protection is by modifying the registry. Right-click on the Start menu and select Run. 
and then type regedit in the corresponding field. In the registry editor window that appears, follow this path HK Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows Defender. To edit or add a value to this folder, you need to change its owner first. By default, the owner is System. To change it, right-click on the folder and choose Permissions. In the window that opens, Permissions for Windows Defender, open the tab Advanced and click Change in the Owner field. Another window opens, click Advanced. Find Now. Select the administrator account or the administrator's group, then click OK and OK one more time to confirm the changes. Now check the boxes next to Replace Owner on Subcontainers and Objects and Replace All Child Object Permission Entries with Inheritable Permission Entries from this object and click Yes in the Windows Security Warning message that appears. Going back to the Permissions window, grant the users with full control and click Apply and OK to confirm it. Now you can start editing the registry. In Windows Defender branch, create DWORD values 32-bit with the fallen names. Disable antivirus, disable anti-spyware, service start states and change their value data to 1. After that, close the registry editor and restart the computer. After the restart, the Defender will be disabled. If you ever need to start it again, go to Virus and Threat Protection and click Turn On. One more method involves using Outruns for Windows to disable Microsoft Defender. Download this utility and extract it from the archive. You can find the link in the description for this video. For starters, you need to disable permanent protection and boot in safe mode. Open Settings, Privacy and Security, Windows Security, a Virus and Threat Protection, Manage Settings, and disable real time protection. To boot the computer in safe mode, use the search to find System Configuration, open the Boot tab, check the box for Safe Boot, Minimal, Apply, OK, and hit Restart. When the computer boots in the safe mode, open Windows Security to check if Microsoft Defender is running. Then go to the folder containing Outruns for Windows and start Outruns64.exe. In the Programs window, jump to the tab Services. By default, Windows services are hidden. To make them visible, open Options and uncheck the box for Hide Windows Entries. Now search the list of services for Windows Defender and uncheck this box. This will disable automatic startup for Windows Defender every time the computer reboots. After that, close the utility and boot the computer into the normal mode. Open System Configuration, check Normal Startup here, Apply, OK, and Restart. When the computer boots, start Task Manager and check if the Windows Defender service is running. Open Settings, Privacy and Security, Windows Security, Virus and Threat Protection, Home. Here you can see a circle of loading dots uh, or the protection status is displayed as unknown. This is when the Defender is checking its settings. 
Here is an important piece of advice. Don't click on the Defender tile while it is updating its information or displaying the unknown status. If you click on it, the Defender will be enabled again, so wait until it says Turned off. To cancel all the changes, click on this button to restart. Now you know how to turn off Microsoft Defender in Windows 11. To have the Defender disabled after you restart the computer, make sure to follow carefully every step of this tutorial. If all of these methods fail to disable Microsoft Defender, you can try looking for third-party tools on the Internet, and they are quite numerous. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.